you should see my dad give my mom a black eye. Okay. So that's what I grew up in. And so these things continue to carry on with me in my teens, of course, my twenties, my thirties. I was even abused myself. I was married for a short, short time and I was abused. So these things kept playing in my head. Woe is me. I was trying, I knew that there was something deep down inside of me that wanted to get out, that wanted to excel. And I tried everything that I knew to do and I could not get rid of the voices in my head. I could not get rid of it. And so after many, 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 many years, I mean, a good 20, maybe even 30 years at this point, I said, you know what? Enough is enough. I had already, listen, I had had, had my own home, job, making pretty good money. I tried to work on myself. You see me up here going to the gym, losing weight, you know, because I, I was a overweight kid and I thought, well, that's that's it. I'm 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 single because I'm overweight, <laughs> you know, but I tried to solve it that way. And then as I got into health, I wanted to share that with other people. I wrote books on that, on health, right? Mm -hmm. And I still had these voices in my head. So I got to the point back in 2018 where I was ready to just end it. I was ready to end it. I was tired. I wanted a change and I didn't know how that change was going to happen. So if I had to say bye-bye to this world and maybe, maybe I'd get a second chance to come back and have another situation at that point, guys, I was willing to take that, but I overheard something. I overheard a video. It wasn't even a video on gratitude. It wasn't a video on, on anything. It was just two sentences that I happened to hear. And the lady said, if you're waking up in the morning and you're thinking about all your problems, why not just start writing down three to five things that you're grateful for every day? That you're grateful for, right? And I was like, what? That's not going to work. Well, what, what is this? This is gratitude? Well, what is gratitude? I didn't understand it. And I certainly didn't think it was going to work. But I got guys to the point where, okay, if this is it, maybe this is a lifeline for me. Maybe I can just try this for a week, try it for five days and see. But if it doesn't work, that's it. I've already gone 30 years like this. <laughs> What's five more days, okay? So what is gratitude, right? Well, what is it? Gratitude is the act of acknowledging and appreciating the good things in your life, big and small. And I wanna pay you to pay attention to the small, okay? The little things. Because remember, I'd wake up in the morning thinking about my problems. They were so big. I would... Over years and years and years of thinking about them, I had encoded those problems in my head, okay? So for me to start thinking about something that was good, it was very difficult for me to do it. Very, very, very difficult for me to do that. I said, you know what? If I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it right. Let me go and get myself a journal. And I put the journal by my bed, guys, in the bed with me. I slept with the daggone journal. I said, well, well guess what? Wasn't nobody else in the bed with me. <laughs> okay, y'all supposed to laugh at that point, okay? <laughs> so I might as well put this journal because I don't want to forget because I knew if it was on the other side of the, the room, I wasn't going to do it. But I made a date with myself and I said, I'm going to try this for five days and I'm going to do this point make a date with yourself make it important so I would get up in the morning I'd lay up in bed I'd have my journal and guys it felt so awkward now I'm the only one in the house but I'm like I don't think I can do this I, I was fighting with myself I don't think I can do this but I'm gonna do it no I said I was gonna do it so I'm gonna do it and I would write down um I can't think about anything but my problems, but you know what? I see the sun coming through the window. Let me write that down. Huh. 
I started appreciating the small things here. Mm. Okay. And I write down two other things really quick. Took about five minutes. So gratitude is about shifting your focus from what's missing to what you already have, guys. Les Brown, the wonderful Les Brown says, most people in life fail because they focus on the things that they think they need that they don't have instead of what they already have. Gratitude makes you think about what it is that you have, guys. Listen, I don't know about y'all. Have y'all ever been in a situation where you're like, man, I need to go to the grocery store. I don't have anything in here to eat. What I'm, I don't have nothing in here. But maybe you look at your account and your funds are a little bit low and you look, Maya Angela talked about this. She look in her refrigerator and she said, well, what is it that I have? And she start throwing stuff together and make a soup. And that would be the best soup she ever had, guys. Listen, I'm a witness. I've done refrigerator soup many a time and it turns out to be good. So what you think you don't have, you really do have. Look at what it is that you have and be grateful for it. That's what we're doing here today. This is the secret sauce, guys. It's not about ignoring challenges, but finding the silver lining and appreciating the resilience, the strength that you have, okay? That you can build through and you can go through whatever the circumstances is that you're in. It has, listen, your success has absolutely nothing to do with the circumstances that you are in. Look at the silver lining. There's a silver lining in everything. Okay. There's a silver lining in everything. Okay. Now, gratitude, it reduces stress and anxiety it boosts your happiness and well-being okay this is why people say i love your energy you're smiling all the time i've been practicing gratitude since 2018 guys okay and it changed my life that first week that i did it i said am i really feeling better i said let me try another five days and make sure by the end of that five days guys i was feeling good the third week that i finished I was like, wow, I feel new. The fourth week, guys, I wanted to live. And you couldn't tell me anything different. And I've been that way ever since. And I still do my gratitude journal today. Okay, I still do it. Now, you're going to find that it's going to improve your sleep quality. 